evening, Mom and I went uh, to a place here local to us to eat. Random place that we never ever go. And I had my hip brace on. The waitress comes up and she's like, oh my gosh, my sister has that same brace. She had hip surgery too. And I was like, what? Like I hadn't said anything about anything. She goes, yeah, she had, um, I, I believe she said three hip surgeries and a revision. And I was like, okay, she had arthroscopies. Like you don't have revisions of um, hip replacements typically. So she was like, yeah, I think so. Guys, when I tell you my hair was standing straight up, it was wild because she was 16 on the first surgery. Now she's 21 and she's still wearing a hip brace. And I said, what's the chances that she has some type of um, connective tissue disorder? And she was like, I don't know. She didn't know what that was. She said, I'll ask my mom. And anyways, um, as it turns out, she was describing her surgeon. Y'all know that my surgeon, McCormick, left the state, right? He was tall, good-looking, nice. Um, one of, At the time, especially, the only person that did hip arthroscopies in West Virginia. So when she said, yeah, her hip surgeon left, he was this real tall, good-looking guy. And I'm not sure what state he went to, but he left. <laughs> I was like, she had McCormick. She was like, I don't know. I'd have to ask my mom, but is that who you had? And I said, yeah. She said, well, she, um, he, he referred me, referred her, sorry. He referred her to a doctor, an other ortho doctor here in West Virginia that apparently does arthroscopies now. And I think there's only one of them now too. He tried to send me there, and I was like, mm, absolutely not. I'm not interested. Definitely not. So, at, she, you know, went along. She came back near the end to check on us, and she was like, so my mom responded, and um, she had, like, a torn, and I said, labrum? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she had F, and I said, F-A-I? femoral acetabular impingement and she was like yeah yeah she did and uh, <laughs> she said that uh, and she had something shaved and I said was it her femur and her socket and she was like I think it was and I was like yeah she she probably has some type of connective tissue disorder because even the people that have had this surgery that don't have connective tissue disorders, typically their labrum doesn't keep ripping. Everybody that I know that's had the surgery, it rips again because our tissues suck. So I gave her my, I had a card in my wallet. It was actually my membership card to the foundation. And I wrote my name and my number in the name of this group. And I handed it to her and I said, you know, give this to your mom or your sister whoever, I said, because the chances she has a connective tissue disorder is, is very likely, and she doesn't know it, and she said, well, does that get worse as you get older? Yeah, and her hip's going to get worse, and if she's already wearing her um, brace 24-7, it's just going to get worse, and it was like a dagger to the heart when she was saying all that because I'm like I thought I guess give, giving him the benefit of the doubt that I was the only one that he messed up turns out I wasn't so how many people did he really mess up and I was 30 she was 16 I mean she was still in high school guys and she yeah so I mean, I've, I've been on the main group, the femoralized tabular impingement group, telling them, you know, like, hey, you shouldn't get this surgery, blah, blah, blah. 
And a lot of people come back with, oh no, it was a success. Well, these people have had more than two surgeries. You have two hips. Two. If you've had more than two surgeries, I don't call that a success. Like, I'm sorry, the math just doesn't add up. And I've had two surgeries on one hip. So still, the math does not add up. Somehow, these people are thinking that it was a success and it bought them time. When in reality, it sped up their timeline and they had to do things quicker. Thus, making them less of a candidate for hip surgery like that works. Like a replacement. Because they've had all of this issue and blah, 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 blah. And they're younger. So, I mean, I know that there's at least, I can think off the top of my head, three people in here that have been told that they need this surgery. And to the best of my knowledge, I think that I've convinced them not to. But it was, it was like, a, like I said, a dagger to the heart. Because I was like, oh my God, like I know exactly what this chick is going through except at a younger age like guys it sucks you know the the recovery sucks a hip replacement you get up and you're walking that day does it hurt i'm sure is it easy no i'm i'm sure it's not no surgery is easy but this surgery the recovery is very long you're not supposed to be weight-bearing for quite a long time. Like, for it to buy time, the recovery is way harder than a replacement. And it doesn't buy time. Like, I feel like my mission to inform on this specific surgery has been renewed because... Like, she had no idea who I was. She had no idea what surgery I had. She just saw me, saw my hip brace, and she was like, oh, da da And like I said, it was like the, the hairs on my arms and stuff stood straight up because I was like, whew. Like, you know, sometimes you're just reminded what your purpose is and what you need to be doing and why. And I guess that was, that was my thing. So, I'm hoping that I can save some people some issues and, and not have this surgery. I just had my latest MRI the other day. And as we know, um, if, you, if you're in West Virginia, you can, you can notice the names of these. If you're not, um, CAMC is a, probably the largest in the Charleston area. Their imaging and their radiologists are better than Thomas, which is the next down the road in size, and they're still not good. When I went to Ohio, he said that he wanted me to come back and do an MRI there because it was just way better. And I was like, oh, whatever. So I went, and I got it, and there was like 15 things on that report. I got another one three months later here at CAMC. Two things. Two things. So this MRI, I've been hurting in my labrum. Labrum is located in your groin a lot. I've been hurting there a lot. And before and after surgery, I never had groin pain. That's one of the main... Hi, baby. Zoe's saying hi, guys. It's one of the main FAI um, labral tear issues, right? So when I started having that, I was like, okay, there's a problem. So I got this MRI back, and I knew that I had tears in both labrums. Um, so those have gotten bigger, and there's lots of inflammation and bursitis in both hips. <laughs> and... Um, there's poss possibly torn tendons in both hips too. So I'm supposed to be going to a different ortho to get that all reviewed. He's not going to touch me. Not, not happening. But he's, <laughs> he's supposed to 
you know, help go over the MRI. So I'll give you an update on that when I get it. But guys, like tonight happened for a reason. And if you know anybody with hip issues, especially if they have connective tissue disorders too, send them my way. Like, this shit sucks. So, send them my way and hopefully we can help save them some pain. You guys have a good evening.